Alright guys, welcome to a QGIS video today. Um, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can install a QGIS plugin. And I'm going to show you one of the, my favorite plugins, which is the value tool, which is basically um, an improved va or an improved identify tool for working with rasters. Um, so if you're not familiar with the identify tool, we'll start with that. It's this tool right here with the arrow and the blue eye. And I have a raster loaded here. This is the same raster, the same DEM I downloaded uh, in a previous video about downloading free DEM. So go ahead and check that out if you want to get this same DEM. With the identify tool, you notice that popped a box up over here that has the results. And if I click on a raster, um, it gives me the value of a cell. So you can see I can just click around and it gives me that value. So the value tool, what it's going to do is I'm going to just be able to hover my mouse and it will update this in real time, which will be really cool. So I'm going to close this out here and let's go ahead and install a plugin. So if I come to the plugins um, option on the menu here and click on that and then go to manage and install plugins. And this is just going to connect me right to the plugins repository. You'll have to be on the internet to do this. Um, and there you have it. And so over here, I can look at the installed plugins. Here are the ones I have installed. Um, and a lot of these aren't activated, but I can activate them. I can turn on geoscience. I can turn on the topology checker. I can turn on coordinate capture. Okay. So if there's a tool you're looking for and you can't find it, go here to the installed plugins and make sure it's checked. One common one that you may miss is this processing one. This is the processing toolbox over here that has all these tools. If you can't find that, come check your plugins because it could be unchecked here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, um, one thing you want, might want to do also is go to settings. And one important thing to do is maybe to check this show also experimental plugins. Um, so sometimes if there's one you're working with or, or one one of your friends made or a company made that's not totally released yet, it could show up as experimental. Um, and there are some good experimental plugins. You should also be aware of these. So there's the disclaimer here about this, but this will make sure you have access to all the plugins. Um, I usually don't work with depreciated plugins, but you can if you want to. So those are some of the options there. Now the next thing we're going to do is let's just go to all plugins here. And I can search. I'm going to search for the value tool, which is this one right here. And so once I find a plugin, I want to download the value tool. And you can click on it. There it goes. It's taking a second to highlight. Computer's being just a little slow right now. And now we're not responding. Okay, so here you can see that now the value tool is pulled up and it says display in a table or pl plot the values from the visible raster layers at the current mouse position. Okay, so you're going to get a little description here. And to install the plugin, all I do is come over here and click install. And this will take a minute. Um, it's going to install it. Okay, so now that it's installed, you can see it gave me the change log and everything, and I now have the option to uninstall or reinstall. So now I'm good. And make a note here, this is the icon for the plugin. So we'll go ahead and we will click close. And let's come find our value tool. So it got put right here, which is in my plugins toolbar. I can also go to plugins. Maybe, maybe it's not there. Anyway. You can see it got added to my toolbar here. Um, and you'll be able to find it somewhere else. We could always search for it down here. You can see the value tool, it popped up right down here. I'm gonna close that and we'll just click on it here. And there it came, it popped up. I'm gonna actually move this over here. Um, I like to keep this just as it is. So to make this tool work, all I do is click enable and I can change the number of decimal places. And you'll notice that my layer, I'm out of extent. I can come over here and now it updates automatically. So as soon as I hover over anything, it updates automatically. I find this plugin to be extremely useful. Um, we've got this graph here. It's just moving that point around the graph. So it's not, you know, not doing a whole lot um, with that. If we had more layers, uh, it would be. So you can come to the options and you can 
uh, do visible or all bands or whatever, but we just will go back to the table. So I'll show you how cool this is when I add another layer in. So let me find another raster layer here real quick, and then I'll get back to you um, with an update here. Okay, so I've added in two raster layers. They're from different DEMs, but it, it'll illustrate the point. So here's my um, 10 meter DEM over the top. I can turn that off. This is a flow direction raster, so it's just the, which cell, which neighboring cell, cell flows to if there was water in it. And this is the flow accumulation. So this is, you know, how much, how many cells flow into another cell from upstream. Um, just turn these back on. And so now you can see over here I have three different values. And so as I sort of begin to add an extent on one of them, you can see I get these different values from my flow direction and flow accumulation. And as I come back over here, I start to get all the values. So this makes it really nice to compare values across your raster extent um, in any area without needing to click a whole lot of times. So Anyway, that's uh, your tip today for how to install QGIS plugins and specifically how to use the value tool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy this. Um, and as always, if you have any suggestions for other QGIS videos, please leave a comment below and I will get to those. Have a good day.